Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Fallout challenge. Today, we're going to be trying to innovate the world of Fallout challenges by not even doing it in Fallout. Yes, we'll be taking on the VR form, and I didn't want to play Fallout 4 VR or Fallout 3 VR because those are kind of broken, you know, and this is a better build game, kind of. And I won't just be playing the Bone Lab missions since those are mostly puzzles, and I mean, it would be cool to see, you just won't be able to see mostly the Fallout weapons, which I want to use today. So today we're going to be answering the question, can you beat Bone Labs, the deep, with Fallout weapons? And we got a couple New Vegas packs on, we got a couple Fallout 4 packs on, I think we have like one or two Fallout 3 gun packs, so enough yapping, let's just get into this. At first, I thought I downloaded the wrong map since, you know, the theming of this looks like a scary map. However, I turned the corner and found my first weapon, the Mysterious Magnum, and I made it to the first room of enemies, which I dispatched pretty quickly. And after being confused for a bit, I found the exit, which I guess is the first parkour section of this, but not really. Because the only thing that was at danger were my hands going into my fan while climbing. After doing our superhero landing, we take on the second room of enemies and things got a little dicey. After beating everyone up though, we finally found a Fallout 4 assault rifle, which now we don't just have a pistol. And this thing just mows down enemies, and after mowing down enemies, we found another gun, the combat shotgun, making this the third weapon we've found now. After testing how deep the cavern goes, we blindly jump down it, luckily surviving the fall. We make it to the next room of enemies, and we finally get some like hints to whatever story's going on in the background. I do not know what's happening. I don't know what these things are. They're like in jail cells. I think one of them broke out or something that has to do with the story. And then there's like these ones going down a conveyor belt. After making it past the three lore rooms, we finally see the escape, which was a mirage, a lie, a good life lesson to learn. Everything's a lie. However, now we have to frantically climb away from the slowly rising fire below us. And the climbing mechanics at this part were a little less than optimal. But after jankily making our way out of there narrowly, we finally beat level 1 and make it to level 2. And at the start of level 2, all of our guns are taken. It's like that New Vegas DLC. So I guess this ties in the Fallout a little bit. This, however, was not a problem for me as I just rushed the guy behind the desk. And thankfully he had some ammo and an M1911, which I think is from New Vegas, I'm pretty sure. So I grabbed that M1911 and started blasting my way down the hallway, collecting even more guns on the way. Finally, we get to our first real parkour section of this map, and the only reason I say that is because before, if we fell, there was no real consequences, but now... If we fall down this abyss, we will die and have to start all the way from the beginning of level 2. It's not too bad since it's only level 2, but later parkour could become really annoying, which you'll see. And after almost slipping a couple times, we finally made it across, and we blindly jumped down another cavern, which led us to the most confusing room of all time. However, once I figured out the stuff on the floor is supposed to be like murky water and not some other substance, we take on the enemies that all bud rush us at one time. This did remind me a lot of COD Zombies though since we have the M1911 and they don't have guns to shoot at us so this is kind of like a new Zombies map. We keep heading deeper into the murky waters until I reach another liquid room which this time was not murky water thank god however thanks to the PA system in this facility I think. We figure out it's lava and again start frantically climbing out of there. Due to Wichita's escaping, we are flooding all the sewer regions. If you are working, evacuate now. 
Thank you. This time the lava was rising really quickly and every I didn't want to look down, but the one time I looked down, we were almost dead. And after narrowly making it out, we make our way on to level three. We start level three by finding a laser rifle, which I know by playing Bone Labs, this is the best fallout gun you can have. It's like a two shot on everything. After more lore dumping, we make it to our first challenge room, which we have to find two keys in under a minute or something happens. I don't know what. And it's full of skeletons who are really strong in this. While this was emotionally taxing, I did it and we speed run level three. Like th this had to be like under a minute or so, or not under a minute. This had to be under like two minutes or something like that. And we finally make it to level four. <sighs> level four, I'm not going to lie. I the, the parkour at the beginning, I can't even count how many times I've died. I'll show you a couple times here, but there were way more. This jump right here is impossible. These conveyor belts are moving, so you have to move backwards, and I, I, don't, I can't even talk about it. Finally, after completing this parkour, we take on what I think is the hardest challenge in this map so far. And again, let me remind you, if I die, I have to go all the way back to the beginning, having to complete the parkour to get back to this room. And if you're wondering what's in this room right in front of me, a whole bunch of enemies that have projectile weapons. There's like a wizard character that shoots fireballs at you. There's like hazmat suit guys that have like submachine guns that'll shoot at you. You do get a pick of whatever gun you want. So we picked the laser rifle and that gun from New Vegas. And yes, we died like 20 times to get in this room. But finally, after realizing, I think there's only like a two minute timer you have to survive in here for. We held off, staved off enough, and then just booked it out of there. very very soon we make it past level five pretty easily i don't know if mine was just glitched or whatever but there was this huge room of combat enemies or when i say combat enemies there's like there's two different types of combat enemies in bone labs there's the projectile wizard sh fireball shooting ones and then there's the punchy ones that you saw at the beginning i kind of just snuck around those guys pretty easily and beat level five and under a minute for sure. And after a weirdly similar sequence to the Kellogg's brain bit in Fallout 4, we finally, finally get to the ending, the evil ending somehow. I, I don't know what I did wrong. I guess you're supposed to do something else to get the good ending, but however, we finally make it to the end credits and answer the question, yes, you can beat Bone Labs the Deep with Fallout weapons or as the Fallout main character, however you want to frame this. I'm not really going to do an outro, I'm just going to show you guys the ending, so like and subscribe and enjoy this carnage that was going on for the evil ending. I don't even know how I got that.